Hello, it's time for my top tip now. And my top tip is a maths problem, a bit of maths problem solving, involving division. And because it's quite difficult, I'd really be expecting the more able year two children to be able to deal with this. So my problem is that I'm having a party. And at my party, I need 225 balloons. But the balloons come in packets of 25. So the problem is, how many packets of 25 balloons do I need to get to 225? I'm going to show you two ways of working that out. The first way is really for children to have a notion that 2 lots of 25 equals 50, and 2 lots of 50 equals 100, and so therefore 4 lots of 25 equals 100. And I kind of get the children to work it out like this, so let me show you. So I go, there's two lots of 25, that's 50, that's two packets. Another two lots of 25, that's four packets, so I've got 50, that's 100 now. And there's my final remaining packet. So that's one packet, two packets, three packets, four packets, five packets, six packets, seven packets, eight packets, nine packets. Yeah, can you see how I've worked that out? Yeah. So a less advanced way of doing this would be for the children to play around with 25. And I'd get them to work out 25. Keep on going until they get to 225. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. I'm not there yet. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, and ten, and twenty, and thirty, and forty, and fifty, and sixty, and eighty, and ninety, two hundred, just twenty-five more to go. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, and ten, twenty, two hundred, two hundred and ten, two hundred and twenty, two hundred and twenty-five. So that's one lot, two lots, three lots, four lots, five lots, six lots, seven lots, eight lots, nine lots. So I've showed you two ways there. There's this way which is really about children experimenting with ways to make 25 and keeping a running total until they get up to 225. And the other way, which is more advanced, and which is where we're trying to get our children to, is for them to have a notion of 25 and how that links to 50 and how that links to 100 and then to 225. And of course these principles don't only apply to 25 and 225, and on our school website we've got other examples of maths problems involving division, some involving multiplication too, that you might want to um, practice with your children.